guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at the minimized maximum of products distributed to any store problem which is from lead code number 2064 we will be looking at the optimal solution after solving this problem you can consider solving similar problems the first one is first bad version from 278 capacity to ship packages within d days from a uh, lead code 1011 now let's read the problem statement in this problem you are given an integer n indicating there are n specialty retail stores there are m product types of varying amounts which are given as a zero indexed integer array quantities where quantities at i represents the number of products of the ith product type you need to distribute all the products to the retail store following the rules the first rule is a store can only be given at most one product type but can be given any amount of it. The second point is after distribution each store will have been given some number of products possibly zero. Let x represent the maximum number of products given to any store. You want x to be as small as possible that is you want to minimize the maximum number of uh, products that are given to any store. Now before looking at the example, let's look at the constraint. In this case, the total product types are M and uh, the total product types will always be less than equals to the number of retail stores and that is maximum 10 to the power of 5. Okay, and uh, each of the uh, type will have positive value from 1 to 10 to the power of 5. Now let's look at an example for better understanding. In this case, you are given N retail stores and M product types. So let's consider that n is equals to 7 and we have uh, three product types now each of the product uh, will have certain quantity and they are given 15 10 and 10 right now our constraint is we need to distribute all the products to the seven retail stores that i have but the condition is a retail store can only have one product type so you cannot say that i will assign two quantity from uh, product type 0 and one quantity from product type 1 that cannot happen if a retail store is given any product it should be all of the same type the second point is a retail store can take any amount of the product and it can also take zero like i can do an assignment where i say that uh, the first retail store will take 15 amount second store will take 10 amount third store will take 10 amount and the rest of the stores from store number four to seven will be taking just a zero amount that is perfectly fine our constraint was giving uh, m less than equals to n and also if i assume that x is equals to the maximum number of products given to any store what do i mean by this let's say that i have done the assignment of first uh, retail store with 15 quantity second with 10 third with 10 and fourth fifth sixth and seventh all with 0 0 0 0 now the max value in this entire assignment is 15 and this will be the value of x for our given assignment now given any configuration uh, we want to find out the max value and that will be x so i want to do such kind of assignment where this maximum in the entire assignment is minimized and that is our goal our goal is to minimize this value x i have already given uh, three different assignments here you can look at the first assignment where i will say that the first retail store will get uh, the product type number zero and all of it then uh, the second and the third retail store will be dividing this uh, second product type into two parts of five and five and then the rest of them like from four to seven will all be divided uh, between this product type which is having uh, 10 quantity and it will be divided as one 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 seven you can again divide it in any configuration as you like okay now in this case the maximum value is 15 if you try to do another type of assignment where the first product type is broken into two parts of 10 and 5 then this will be going to retail store number uh, 1 and this is going to retail store number 2 and you can continue the process like this will be going to retail uh, store number 3 and the retail uh, store number 4 to 7 will be uh, getting 2 2 2 4 which will be from the product type number 2 so here the max value is 10 in the third assignment the max value will be 5 so out of all these max values we will be tracking the minimum so that is equals to 5 and hence the answer is 5 in this case okay now if the problem statement is not clear then let's look at more examples in this example number one we will be taking the n value equals to 3 okay and m value equals to 1 that means our quantities array will be of size 1 so we just have a single product and uh, the amount is 2 now if i want to divide this 2 into 3 parts then one assignment can be 
I will give the first two units to the first retail store and the second and the third retail store will be getting zero. In this case, the maximum value is two. Another type of assignment can be I can give one unit to the first retail store, one unit to the second retail store and the third retail store will not get anything. And that is perfectly fine. The max value is one out of all these type of assignment. Which one is the minimum assignment? It is one. And therefore, the answer for this uh, problem is one. Now you can argue that why not uh, I will give 000 to all of these retail stores but that is not possible because all the quantities have to be assigned. You cannot leave even a single quantity. So this here is not a valid configuration. Now let's look at the second example. In this case we have n value 2 and m value 1. So let's say that we just have a single product type with 100 units. Now if I want to divide it into two parts then I can divide it as the first retail store will get 100, second one will get 0. In this case, the max value is 100. But if I divide it uh, with uh, saying that the first retail store will get 50, the second will get 50, then I will be getting a max value of 50. In any other balancing, you will not get the max value to be less than 50. So the answer in this case is 50, right? Now, if you look at the third example, where you have uh, four retail stores and the three product types which is m equals to three if you want to divide it then i have written three different configuration yes you will have many more co configurations but let's look at these three configuration in this case i divided this first one among the first retail store and the second retail store the first one got one unit the second one got two units now this one was given to the third retail store this is given to the fourth retail store if I do this kind of assignment, then my max value is 5. Now, I think you can go through all the assignments and I have tracked the max values of all the assignment. I will try to minimize all the max values. And so the answer will be 3 in this case. Now, I think the problem statement must be clear. So let's look at the naive solution to solve this problem. Now, let's take an example of uh, n equals to 5 and uh, m equals to 3. So our quantities array is of size 3 having 4, 2 and 5 units. If you try to apply the brute force technique in this case, then uh, I will try all possible assignments. If you look at the constraint where it says that the number of uh, product types will always be less than equals to the number of retail stores and a single retail store will always be assigned the amount from a single product type. It cannot be assigned from two different product type and this single value can range from 1 to 10 to the power of 5. So max value is 10 to the power of 5. So if any retail store has to get a value, then e either it will be assigned zero or it can be assigned a max value of any of the product type holding the max value. And that is five in this case, right? So we will not be trying for the zero amount. We will be trying for all the positive amounts from one to five if we try to do certain kind of assignment. So in this case, we will try the amounts from one to the maximum of the quantities array. Okay, because a single retail store can have the positive value from 1 to 5 in this case. If you want to assign 6 to any retail store, it will not be possible because a single retail store can be assigned to only one product type. Okay. Now, having known this, we will try for all the values from 1 to 5. Now, let's try with value 1. If you try with this value 1, then how many retail stores will you require? Now for the first assignment, you will require four retail stores because it has four unit. And if every retail store is getting one unit, then you will require four uh, units for just the first quantity, two retail stores for the second and the five retail stores for the third. So the total number of retail stores you need is 11. But how many retail stores do you have? Only five, right? So it is not possible to be assigned. Okay, you should always be getting the number of retail stores required to be less than equals to the number of retail stores available with you because let's say if i say that only three retail stores are required to do certain assignment then even if you had five retail stores you will give two zeros to the last two retail stores whatever is left over right but if you need more retail stores then you cannot get it because it is not available so this does not work for me okay now let's try with i equals to 2 like if a single retail store gets two units from the quantities array of each of the product type then what happens then for the first item you will require two retail store for the second item you will only require one retail store for the third you will do the assignment as 2 comma 2 comma 1 
so whenever there is some fraction coming then you will always be giving that fractional part to a new retail store okay because 2 is the limit that, that you are setting so in this case the total number of retail stores required are 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 3 6 but how many retail stores do i have five so this also does not work out for me so what i do is i will try with the bigger chunk assignment okay now in this case i will try with i equals to 3 now if you try with i equals to 3 then this 4 will be divided among two retail stores the first retail store will be getting three units second one will be getting only one unit this two will be uh, given to only one retail store only one retail store and this five will be given to again uh, two retail store the first one will be getting three units second one will be getting two units so total i will require five units this two plus one plus two so five units how many retail stores i have five units so this works for me okay now if this i equals to 3 is working for me any larger chunk size will always work for me you check it out if i take chunk size 4 then this first product type will be uh, assigned to only one retail store the second one will be assigned to only one retail store because the capacity is 4 and this is less than equals to the capacity the third one will be assigned to two retail stores the first one will be 4 and the second one will be getting 1 so how many retail stores do you need? 1 plus 1 plus 2. That means 4 retail stores you need. How many you have? 5. So then the last retail store will not be assigned anything and it is perfectly fine. So this also works for me. And the larger assignment will always work for you as well. Or when the chunk size is smaller, it may or may not work for you. But as soon as a certain chunk size is working for you, then after that, any larger chunk size will always work for you so the first chunk size which i get moving from the left hand side to the right hand side which actually works for me according to this assignment will be the answer okay this will be the minimum value now having known this you can say that if one chunk size does not work for me i can put across second chunk chunk size not working i can put across but then once the chunk size starts working for you all the larger chunk sizes will work for you so what we did in the naive approach was we kept on trying for all the values from left to right and as soon as i find that okay certain chunk size is working then that will be the answer okay and the time complexity in this case will be linear right so the naive approach is to do linear search on this to find the first tick but then if i tell you that all the crosses are on the one side and all the ticks are on the other side find out the first tick then we will always go for binary search which is actually the optimal approach now in this case if you take this as the low value and this as the high value and you say that okay you know this is let's say the mid value i'm just assuming it and if this is a tick mark i will save it as an answer and i will try to make a binary search call on the left hand side not the right hand side because if we have seen a tick mark right hand side will always have a tick mark right so i will go to the left hand side so high will be mid minus one and again you will get a mid value let's say here this is a cross so i will go to the right hand side so the low will be updated to mid plus one so this will be your low this is your high let's say this is your mid value again this is a cross so low will be updated to mid plus one again low high being same mid is the uh, index number four so here you again see a tick mark so your answer is getting minimized so you will update your answer to four now and after this you will go to the left hand side and high will become less than low and so you will stop here okay so this problem is the exact same problem as the first bad version and i think now you understand why we will be applying binary search in this problem so let's do the optimal binary search solution using a dry run in this case you have to identify what is the lowest value and what is the highest value of assignment as i already explained since i will be doing positive assignment i will start with one and the highest assignment will be the max value of the q array that means the quantity array why because one retail store can only be assigned a single product type a retail store cannot take items from different product type okay and that is the reason the high value should be max value of this quantity array having known this we will find the mid value which is either you can do low plus high by two or else to avoid overflow i will just write low plus high minus low by two so that will be equals to three now with three let's try to do the assignment how will you do the assignment i will count and uh, i will be counting starting from zero i will be seeing how many uh, retail stores do i need with the three chunk size so you will always require the seal of whatever is the quantity at i divided by 
whatever is the chunk size that we have chosen and you take the seal of this value so 4 by 3 will be coming around 1.3 or something so if you take the seal it will be 2 so you need two uh, retail stores why is that because definitely for 4 to be divided among two retail stores with size uh, 3 chunk size 3 one retail store will get 3 and the leftover will be given to the second retail store okay similarly 2 by 3 seal of that will be 1 okay so the count will be incremented again 5 by 3 seal of this will be 2 so you need 5 retail stores how many retail stores do you have you have 5 retail stores so this works for you right so the answer will be updated to 5 retail stores since i want to minimize the uh, value therefore i will be assigning the answer to infinity and i will always try to minimize this value so i will get a lower answer so i'll be updating this now since you know that uh, this value has worked for you this 3 has worked for you so you will be updating your high value and go to mid minus 1 which is 2 okay now you recalculate the mid value which is simply do low plus high by 2 and then you will be getting a value 1 so with chunk size 1 let's count how many retail stores do you require for this 4 by 1 seal you will require 4 then for this 2 by 1 seal so you will you will require 2 more that is 6 now for this 5 by 1 seal so you will be requiring 5 more so this will be 11 now this 11 being greater than n this is not working for me and if it is not working for you you will go to the right hand side as i had explained right so the low will be equals to mid plus 1 and low will be 2 in this case your mid value will also become 2 because low is 2 and high is 2 right let's try with 2 now our count value will start with 0 4 by 2 seal is 2 2 by 2 seal is 1 so this, so 3 5 by 2 seal is 3 so 6 you need 6 retail stores how many you have 5 retail stores so so this also is not working for me that means i need to go to the right hand side so low will be mid plus 1 as soon as your low become higher than your high value you will stop and whatever is recorded in the answer this will be the minimum value okay this is your uh, result so i hope you are able to understand this in this case how many times are we doing the binary search the binary search will depend on the maximum value of the quantity and our low value is always starting at one so the maximum value of the quantity let's call it r the binary search will be uh, taking a time of log r and for every mid value i am iterating through this entire uh, quantities array size which is of size m right so the time complexity will be order of m log r the space complexity in this case will be order of one because we are not taking any extra space so you can see this is the time and the space complexity let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the implementation of our idea where we are given n number of retail stores and the quantities array i will be finding what is the value of m here and then i will be taking the low value and the high value to be uh, the maximum of the quantities array okay i'll be defining a mid and the answer will be infinity in initially then i'll be running binary search in the binary search i will be defining the mid value which is low plus high minus low by 2 or you can use low plus high by 2 as well now if i check the assignment and if i find that the number of retail store needed is less than equals to what we actually have then i can do this assignment and i will try to minimize my answer and i will be searching on the left side because i have found a tick mark so i'll be always uh, searching for the first tick mark so i will be searching on the left hand side because i know that the right hand side will have the tick marks right and uh, if i find a cross then i will go to the right hand side and finally we return the answer so i hope you were able to understand this solution if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you